Hey, what's up everyone? I want to talk a little bit about a little bit about what's going on right now, what has been going on for many many, many years. So I understand having your voices heard on social media and having maybe a day of peaceful protest over something that you are displeased with, but something is happening to a larger degree right now and this goes way beyond protest. If you remember several years ago, college students would stand outside of their college campuses not going to school. They refused to go because, and they, they stood outside, they blocked some places, and they stood outside sitting peacefully, not rioting, not burning things down, not throwing things, not starting chaos. They stood peacefully outside of their campus and they were arrested and tear gassed. They were gassed, sprayed with gas, and arrested. All because they peacefully protested, sitting down in chairs. But these individuals who were starting riots, and here's the thing about these riots that are happening. There are multiple groups of several different backgrounds that are in these riots that are taking advantage of this particular situation using it as an excuse to riot because they wanted the chaos and anarchy anyway they wanted that they wanted the uh, dismantling established dismantlement they wanted that establishment dismantling they did want that and there are so many groups out there that want that that it feeds right into their whole little plan. There are many people who are not even protesting and rioting over this individual's death. That's not even what it's about. It's about the chaos that they want to, to bring. You saw people with anonymous masks. You saw people with various symbolism on them. You saw people that looked like they were Nazis or neo-Nazi people. You saw all kinds of people in those protests. You saw thug-looking people that looked like they just wanted to cause chaos and just destroy things and steal things you saw that not protesting for his life or his death I mean and le leaving a legacy of his life that's not what that's doing and then you see those at the top in the news media eating all of this up as a chance to create their own political gain and their personal political game and motive it feeds right into their plan so they can get things exactly how they want those in the news media and those at the top who try to control this whole thing face it they have not liked this administration from the very start and any type of chaos that they can get any type of any type of chaos that they can have feeds right into their plan and then you see these violent clashes erupting everywhere people taking to the street and looking like some kind of third world country and someone pointed out to me where they get the fireworks and the rocks and the they had they had rocks ready to throw through the windows they had items ready to throw yet just a few years ago someone tried so a group groups of people tried to protest college campus prices college prices and they told them if you sit there any longer we're mowing you down what did they do they tear gassed them and arrested them for protesting college prices. But these people, the majority of them, get, get off scot-free. You can see right there, people. you can see people shooting near federal courthouses, people flying vehicles running people over, running officers over. It's absurd. Completely absurd. Let me, uh... Let me actually throw, let me uh, open up the camera if I can, if I can get the camera to open. Why is it? Okay. They're talking about it right now, and it's ridiculous. Anger across America, peaceful protests turned into chaos and looting. The chaos and the looting 
and the vandalism, vandalism of homes and businesses, burning things down, look like some third world country, is not going to do a thing. From New York to California, Kentucky to Florida, down to Georgia, everywhere, all across this country. And a mother of a barbecue restaurant owner was killed. Just murdered in these violent protests. Meanwhile, more people die. It feeds right into the political gain of the other side. It feeds right into more control because out of chaos comes control. But see this mess? This looks like something out of Mad Max or some sort of post-apocalyptic movie. It has nothing to do with, I mean, it goes beyond standing for someone's life. When you start causing chaos in the name of someone's life, that doesn't do a thing. And where's COVID in this whole thing? People are standing side by side, hugging each other. Look, look at this. They, they, they said just a few days ago, don't touch each other, don't hug strangers.